Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all tales of the world Radiant Mythology games on the Sony PSP. Details of the World series is the only series of games on the PSP that uses the FMLMBS system, which means that you can switch from a free battle style where you can move around wherever you want to a more linear battle style where you just move in a line, just like the name says. The game starts with a character creation tool, where you can edit stuff like the name, the gender, the hair color, the skin tone, and even the voice. You can choose your character's class, and what is nice is that in this game the class isn't as tough of a decision to make, as you can change your class later in the game if you want to. The game is an RPG. You take on requests, which usually revolve around three things. One, you either have to go into dungeons to battle monsters, two, you have to do fetch quests, and three, you do escort missions where you have to protect someone. Also by gaining fame points, you can assign Tails characters that aid you in your quests. The more fame points you have, the better your allies will be. And a small detail I like in the game is that since you can see enemies, you can avoid some of them if you want to. But don't worry, if you get into an encounter and don't want to fight, you have the option to flee. And when you get into battle, the loading times are barely present, which is impressive. And in combat, you can use different weapons. You have items you can use, buffs, you have health stuff, like health potions, which isn't a potion, it's a gel here. And you can use food to replenish your health. And you can also craft these items. In battles you can use special attacks that are called artes. And there are different artes you can master. You can also tweak how your teammates should behave in a battle. And you can even change the formation of your teammates mid-battle. But where the game doesn't shine is in the repetitiveness. The game is very repetitive. You will run back and forth in the same dungeons, fighting the same monsters, returning countless of times back to the city to get new materials to craft items, and if you're not familiar with the franchise, the story won't mean much to you. But this is valid for most RPGs. If you're into RPGs, you will like the game. As it's unique, the combat has depth, and it has a lot to offer for a PSP game. And even if you're not into RPGs, when you get to play Tales of the World, you still can't deny that the games have a certain high quality to them. Tales of the World Radiant Mythology 2 has some nice new additions. First off, the character creation tool is deeper. You have way more options than in the first game. And now, there are 15 classes in the game. The game also has more characters, and it has characters from Tales of Vesperia 2. In combat, you have now 5 commands you can issue. And it's harder to become overpowered now, which I find it less attractive, but some of you may like it. I mean, there are challenge seeking players. If in the first game you could max out your character pretty easily or fairly easy, here it's harder, it's really really hard, even with the best equipment. And equipment requires higher levels than in the first game. Now you get equipment that needs you to be level 233 to equip it. And if you had the game back when the PSP was in power, you could use the internet feature to download items and mercenaries from other players. And new stuff to download from the developers were offered on a weekly basis, which is amazing for a PSP game. As for the gameplay, you do again the same tasks in order to progress in the story. The game is still repetitive, unless you're a fan, but you can still see improvements from the predecessor. But even so, the game is impressive, it's well made, you can feel the high quality of the game even more in this title, and with the weekly new content thrown at you when the game was released, the game was a gem back then. And even now, the game still remained a gem. Tales of the World Radiant Mythology 3 takes the scale even further, as it features 80 characters. The characters range from games like Tales of Fantasia to Tales of Graces, 
And unlike the other games, now each character has a mystic art, a special move. In the previous ones, not all of the characters had special attacks, meaning special custom-made attacks for each character. But in this game, each of the 80 characters has a mystic arte specific to that character. Also some tweaks in the battle system were made. You get a radiant drive, which you can use instead of the normal overlimit. In radiant drive, you can keep chaining your artes, which are magic attacks, and you can cast spells without casting time. And during combat, the AI is smarter. Your allies won't waste their overlimits unless you tell them to do so, and you can issue more commands at once for a character. And now you can get overpowered again. TP costs for characters have been lowered. You get options to lower the TP consumption, which means that you can use more artes, uh, more arte attacks. As for the gameplay, you still do the same repetitive tasks to progress in the story. But even so, boss battles are still epic, and I consider the boss battles in this game the best out of the trilogy. And if you were to ask me, I will see that Radiant Mythology 3 is the most epic one. It has the biggest scale, and overall I consider it the best one out of the trilogy. I recommend you the games only if you're a fan of this sort of games, if you're into RPGs. If you are into RPGs, then you will find these games amazing, but if you're not that much of a fan of the genre, then you'll find the games tiresome, as before reaching the epic boss battles, you will have to do a lot of grinding and many repetitive tasks. But if you're okay with that, then you should try the games, as they are packed with some very epic moments. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.